Good morning. Welcome to Current Scam World. In this video, let us study optical rotatory dispersion. What is ORD? What is cotton effect? Anomalous ORD dispersion curve or called cotton effect curves and its principle instrumentation with animation and applications. Okay, before we study ORD, ORD is based on polarimetry. So what is polarimetry? Let us see now. The ORD instrumentation is based on polarimetry. So let us first clearly understand how polarimetry works. It consists of a light source. Okay, it emits only one particular wavelength, for example, sodium vapor lamp. It emits only one wavelength. It is a monochromatic light source. So it vibrates. The light vibrates in all the planes. It vibrates in all the planes. So it is called unpolarized light. Okay, it is now allowed to pass through a polarizer where it is converted into polarized plane polarized beam where it, yeah, where it will vibrate only in one plane and then this polarized light is allowed to pass through an optically active sample okay. if your sample is texturotatory D enantiomer isomer then it will rotate the plane polarized light to the right that is clockwise then it is called a texturotatory if your organic compound is L isomer levo rotatory then it will rotate the plane polarized light to the left that is anti clockwise direction anti clockwise direction then it is levo rotatory now let us see what is ORD in polarimetry, we measured the optical rotation for only one wavelength, okay. that is sodium vapor lamp is a source of monochromatic light of wavelength. However, in ORD, the optical rotation is measured by varying the wavelength of the radiation. Okay. So, in ORD, we we can get a lot of information like say, structure conformations, configuration of organic and inorganic compounds, etc. That is, in other words, the rate of change of optical rotation with respect to wavelength is known as optical rotatory dispersion. Let us now see the ORD instrumentation schematic with the animation. It consists of a light source of emitting all wavelength in the UV visible region. Okay. It is similar to polarimetry instrumentation except the light source emits wavelength of all light. So this is the schematic of uh, schematic diagram of ORD instrumentation. This is the angle of rotation clockwise, clockwise and this is anti-clockwise. Okay, now what is ORD curve? It is a plot of change in optical rotation with respect to wavelength. Okay, so there are two types of curves of time. Please remember there are two types of curves of time. One, plain ORD curve to cotton effect curves. We will see in the next slide, cotton effect curves. What are plain ORD curves? If the, when they are obtained, if the region of measurement is far away from the region of absorption lambda max, then plain ORD curves are obtained. For example, your compound absorbs at 300 nanometer. Then you work in the range 500 to 700. Okay. So, you are far away from the lambda max of your compound or otherwise let us consider optical isomers of aldegols, hydrocarbons. They do not have chromophoric groups to absorb 
um, light therefore they will show such type of plain particles for example texture isomer will show this that is zero this is positive and this is negative and plain levo isomer so this okay now curve one shows a steady increase in optical rotation with the decrease in wavelength with the decrease in wavelength the optical rotation increases in case of curve one in case of curve two the optical rotation decreases with the decrease in the wavelength okay called plane negative quadric curve why they are called plane because there is no maxima there is no minima no crossover no cross uh, crossover the zero line okay it is not crossing this line we will see cotton effect curves they will have maxima they will have minima and they cross over the zero line okay so they are called normal quadric curves let us now see cotton effect curves let us now see cotton effect curves they are anomalous quadric curves the anomalous uh, the anomalous or abnormal wardy dispersion curves are called cotton effect curves okay now if this wardy curves shows maxima you see there is a maxima if this curves so peaks maxima and troughs minima due to absorption of chromophoric group then such curves are called anomalous curves or cotton effect curves okay cotton effect here you have maxima and here you have minima there are two types similar to positive cotton effect curve negative cotton effect curve okay so cotton effect is the abnormal wardy dispersion of refractive index in the lambda max region in the vicinity of absorption band okay so let us describe this positive cotton effect curve by varying lambda by varying lambda from longer to shorter always reverse okay longer to shorter the curve passes it passes through peak okay through peak maxima and then a minima trough okay and cross over zero line okay this curve is said to be positive cotton effect curve okay and by varying lambda from shorter to longer to shorter okay it passes through minima okay opposite minima and then maxima cotton effect curve said to be negative cotton effect curve okay now for example alpha axial halo ketones they exhibit cotton effect curves for example there are two isomers one isomer where you see look at this is the structure of alpha axial halo ketone look from this side okay carbonyl group and the axial group is on the right hand side okay is on the right hand side so it will show positive cotton effect curve okay another isomer is shown here let us look through this direction now the axial halo group is on the left side therefore it shows negative cotton effect curve negative cotton effect curve okay so it is used full for the determination of configurations conformations of uh, organic as well as inorganic compounds thank you for watching please share and subscribe thank you again